Disclaimer, this video may sound a little bit biased because I love submachine guns. I admit that the title is a little bit clickbaity, but there is some truth to it, and I kinda want my opinion to be out there. I'm not the most knowledgeable person on this game, and I know there are other guns struggling right now, but I'll be focusing on SMGs for the majority of this video. Now before anyone comments about how they dropped a nuke with the MSMC, or got 5 search and destroy aces with the QXR, good for you. But popping off with an SMG won't take away the fact that these guns have been feeling weak for the past few seasons. I will give some potential solutions to their problems at the end. It's not impossible to play with them and be aggressive, but as for the state of the game right now, submachine guns have been feeling inconsistent, a bit slow at times when it comes to running speed, and overall they have had a hard time competing with the current meta, with a few exceptions. The only submachine guns I really see in ranked right now are the GKS, which functions basically the same as an assault rifle except it can't shoot through walls too well, and the Fennec which shoots super fast so it actually shreds close range. I have seen the QXR and RUS a bit every now and then, but those are very very rare occasions. I have seen the RUS more though. My point is that the SMGs I see people use is either one which can compete mid-range like an assault rifle, or one that just obliterates anything close range that isn't a shotgun. Why? Because these two feel consistent. In my opinion, consistency is a key factor in determining whether or not a gun can compete in this game. The Gunsmith update introduced body multipliers to most of the SMGs, meaning shooting someone at certain parts of their body, such as the legs, will deal less damage compared to let's say shooting their chest, thus making damage output inconsistent. I know in the past, some SMGs already had this feature, such as the QQ9, which dealt less damage to the legs, but the Gunsmith update turned it up a notch. If you hit someone's arms and hands with the QQ9, you deal less damage so your potential 4-shot kill remains a potential and rarely a reality because your enemy's hands are in front of them when they hold their gun. If you hit leg shots with the MSMC, even close range, you could end up getting 5-shot kills. There are exceptions of course, the HG40 used to be one however it got nerfed, but right now the GKS has no weird body multipliers if I recall correctly, so that's why it feels consistent but not overpowered due to its low fire rate. I'm not saying that they should remove body multipliers for submachine guns because they kinda balance them since these guns most of the time do shoot faster than assault rifles. I'm just pointing out that these body multipliers sometimes make even close range time to kill inconsistent, which is where SMGs should thrive. Another thing is the running speed of let's say the QXR or QQ9. Yes, I am a simp for the QQ9, but these were the SMGs listed in the information. I don't know if this information still holds up to this update, but a month ago, PATH tested that they have similar sprinting speeds to assault rifles like the DRH and the LK24. They do however have faster strafing and base ADS speed than these rifles, but I just found it odd for these submachine guns to run as fast as a weapon that can beam you across the map. Not talking about the DRH. Add this to the couple small movement nerfs they added over the past few seasons, which I won't really go in depth into, the Dead Silence nerf which ended up nerfing stealthy flanking, and you've got aggressive gameplay that can feel sluggish at times. Now I have been comparing SMGs and assault rifles quite a bit in this video. I don't hate assault rifles by any means. I hate the 3 shot assault rifles, I'm kidding. But seriously, I don't hate assault rifles. I just think that they shouldn't be easily outperforming submachine guns in the close range area. I did think that submachine guns back then were kinda overpowered because you could take close and long range gunfights with consistency and mobility. Beaming somebody across the map during Season 7 with a Cordite while strafing felt kinda cheap, especially since that gun also had insane hip fire for those close range encounters. But now with the 3-shot AR meta, submachine guns have been struggling even in the range they were designed for. It's okay for slow firing 3-shot kill guns to be in this game, and as much as some people hate them or get annoyed by them, I think they're interesting guns, and I do use guns like the ASM-10 in ranked when tryharding. I just think that submachine guns as well as a lot of other guns need some buffs. The first thing of course is the movement. Make it so that 
all submachine guns actually make you run faster, not incredibly faster of course, than if you were carrying a thick 3-shot kill potential assault rifle. I don't think that this is something anybody will disagree on. Just to add to this, I do think that all guns in the game, except sniper rifles, do need an ADS speed buff. I don't think anyone will be angry if an RUS had a base ADS speed of 167 milliseconds or KN44 had a base ADS speed of 200 milliseconds, right? To compare, right now the base ADS speed of the RUS is 266 milliseconds, which is just as fast as an assault rifle pre-gunsmith if that assault rifle had an optic. Now, I know there are a lot of attachments right now that increase ADS speed, but faster ADS on automatic weapons wouldn't be too bad in my opinion. The next thing is about the body multipliers. What I'm thinking is maybe make it so that they don't negatively affect the close range time to kill, depending of course on the gun's range and the fire rate because we don't want another overpowered brrr brrr fire situation. Maybe some range nerfs as well on some submachine guns to balance this out. This will make it so that submachine guns become more consistent at close range, but they would still be outgunned at longer ranges. For that silence, to be honest, I can't think of a solution right now about it. You guys can leave that in the comments below. That is pretty much it for my little rant and some proposed solutions to make submachine guns stronger. I don't want them to be overpowered laser beams, I just want them to be a little bit more viable, especially in this meta. I don't want to start any fight or issue with anybody, so if you have any opinions, feel free to kindly express them. Thank you for watching.